Hi, this is Renee Rubalcava with Odonet, and today I want to talk about a nifty little tool on the uh, Esri GitHub account called ArcGIS Vector Tiles Style Editor. So you can use the style editor to customize the styles of the uh, vector tile base maps you might have in your ArcGIS Align account. And there's a nice little uh, animated GIF here to show you how this works. And the first thing you're going to need to do is to actually get one of these uh, vector tile styles into your account. So to do that, I recommend you start with uh, the either dark gray canvas or light gray canvas as a base to work with because they're going to have um, the least amount of style, uh, sorry, vector tile layers inside of it so that you can go ahead and work with them a little easier. If you try and go with the navigation map or street map, it's got a lot of layers and it's a lot, uh, probably too much for you to even uh, start working with. So start with the light gray canvas or dark gray and that'll be a good, uh, base for you to go off. So if we go ahead and open this up, uh, what you want to do is open this in the map. So I'm going to add this to a map. And once this is loaded, I'm going to want to copy this. So I'm just going to make a copy and I'm going to rename it just so I have a nice little, my own name and I'll call this uh, uh, Great Canvas Space. Click OK. And then once I've got my copy, I want to save the layer. And this is going to save it into my account. And I'm just going to keep the name I gave it and create the item. So what this has done now is this has gone ahead and saved this into my ArcGIS Align account. Uh, but it hasn't saved the actual vector tiles. What it's done, it is, has saved, if I open this up here, the actual style file, which is a JSON file. So if I open this up, I can download the style or view it. And I can go ahead and see the JSON for the vector tile style here in my content. So you could download this and edit it by hand in something like Notepad and then upload it again to update your style. Or you can go ahead and use the Vector Tile Style Editor. So if I click on View It Live here, it's going to uh, go ahead and open up my account. And it's going to actually want to use OAuth to authorize your account to get access to your ArcGIS Online content. So at the top here, I've got the dark gray uh, canvas. So let's open that one up. All right, cool. So this is a pretty basic starting point. So now if we come in here, uh, let's go down to somewhere that I'm a little bit more familiar with. Awesome. Okay, so let's go with uh, land, right? So for land, let's say I want to make this, uh, this kind of green uh, hue of some sort, right? So we'll go with like a, a light green here. Choose that and then apply the style. Awesome, cool. So I've got this nice little light green going on here. And then we have these, uh, uh, let's see, what else do we have here? So we've got the land. Oh, that was land, not ice. You'll notice the layers here. You kind of funky. So, okay, urban area. So let's go with uh, urban area. And for urban areas, we're going to go ahead and do a little bit darker green hue. Uh, apply that style. So, okay, so now we're starting to change some stuff up. Let's get down a little bit more here. Uh, let's actually get into some building level stuff here. Okay, so okay, so here we've got buildings. So for the fill color for buildings, I'm going to go ahead and make this fill color uh, more of a uh, closer to the lighter green. But let's change the uh, hue up here just a little bit. Choose that. Apply style. All right, cool. So we've got that nice kind of green going. We have an outline color that's kind of dark. Um, kind of like that idea, but let's make it a kind of dark green and apply that style. And you'll notice here that we've got undo buttons too. So I can go ahead and uh, undo that, and it'll go ahead and undo the changes that I made. All right, so you have a lot of options in here. There's a lot you can do with the styling, uh, all the way down to the roads, uh, just some road thickness if you want to. And then there's different um, le levels for the road. There's like the major roads, minor roads, the um, uh, intersection of the road. Well, not the intersection, but like if you have overlapping roads that have this like outline. So like here you can kind of see this like a dark gray with a darker gray outline on the road. Uh, you can adjust all of that if you wanted to. So like I said, you can download the JSON file and edit it by hand if you want to, but it's kind of neat to be able to open this up and kind of get a visual, uh, quick visual cue as to what your uh, vector tile style is going to look like. So I can go ahead and save this now 
into my account if I refresh the application and list out my current vector tiles I have in my application here or my content. And there we go. So it's going to save the style to my ArcGIS Align account that I can go ahead and uh, repurpose wherever I want to. And just to give you an idea of kind of the stuff you can do here, if I go to this particular map here, oh, actually, I think I might want to go to another one down a little bit more. Uh, the second one, here we go. So if you were at the, uh, if you saw the Ezra Dev Summit plenary or one of my sessions at Dev Summit, uh, you probably saw this map. This is a uh, branded, I like to call them branded map uh, for the Lakers. All right, so if you come down, it's uh, all purple and gold, uh, Laker style, even down to the buildings. And this is kind of stuff that you can do with your vector tiles and really kind of style them and uh, rebrand them for your application. Uh, and it's a really powerful way of being able to use the vector tiles. So again, this is a, a basic little application that kind of helps you visually edit the vector tile styles for your uh, vector tiles. And you can go ahead and play around with it. Uh, it's experimental right now, and it's real just kind of early, uh, the work that was done. Uh, we'll probably uh, do some tweaks and updates to this in the future just to make some things a little bit easier to use. Uh, but yeah, that's it. And if you want a reference to the actual vector tile styles to see the kind of stuff you can do, we have a link to the spec on Mapbox's site for the uh, style spec for vector tile styles. You can come down here and you can see that we've got stuff for... Uh, you won't worry about the sources, but you're mostly going to be working with the layers themselves here and the paint area and adjusting those kind of colors and stuff like that. So feel free to play with this, try it out, and see what you can do. Thank you.